Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. So glad to be with you. I'm Father Mike, and I'm joined by Morgan, Lewis, and we are so excited to be with you today. So we're going to share a gospel reading and then uh, talk a little bit about the gospel reading and how we can apply it to our own lives, because there's a lot that can be said this week and a lot that Jesus has to say uh, to us and for us. So I'm going to begin with the reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came up to Jesus and asked, Teacher, will you do us a favor? Jesus asked them what they wanted, and they answered, When you come into your glory, please let one of us sit at your right side and the other at your left. Jesus told them, you don't really know what you're asking. Are you able to drink from the cup that I must soon drink from, or be baptized as I must be baptized? Yes, we are, James and John answered. Then Jesus replied, you certainly will drink from the cup from which I must drink, and you will be baptized as I must. But it is not for me to say who will sit at my right side and at my left. That is for God to decide. When the ten other disciples heard this, they were angry with James and John. But Jesus called the disciples together and said, You know that those foreigners who call themselves kings like to order their people around, and their great leaders have full power over the people they rule. But don't act like them. If you want to be great, you must be the servant of all the others. And if you want to be first, you must be everyone's slave. The Son of Man did not come to be a slave master, but a slave who will give his life to rescue many people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right, that's a tough gospel because Jesus is asking us to put other people first, right? So often we get kind of stuck in a mindset where we want everything for me. I want all my toys. I want all my games. I don't want to share, which is kind of natural. But he's asking us to do something better and something uh, more. So we get this opportunity today to reflect on how we can be servants of others, how we can put other people first, how we can help other people and make sure that they are taken care of in our own lives. So that's a pretty neat uh, lesson that we get today, but we got to probably think of some examples. You guys think? Um, any examples from a time when maybe you put somebody else first or you helped somebody even though maybe you didn't want to? Um, probably when I helped my brother out with homework. Huh? Perfect. That's a great example. All right. And that wasn't exactly easy, right? You could have been doing your own thing or playing games. Yeah. But you chose to help. That's a great example. Yes. Or uh, giving my brother a turn on the Xbox or video games. Okay. That's good. Did you beat him? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to let him win. Oh. Jesus is lucky to let him win. <laughs> But those are two great examples so we can think of things at home, maybe, uh, and at school or wherever we find ourselves. Maybe helping mom and dad with the dishes or helping them clean off the table or take out the trash or clean up our rooms or clean up our playroom, whatever it might be. Those little things that we get asked to do, when we say yes, we're doing exactly what Jesus asks us to do. So let's always try to remember to put other people first to think about them and their feelings whenever we do something or say something, that's really important. And that's certainly what Jesus calls all of us to do. So we hope you have a great week. It was really good to be with you this morning. And let's pray for each other that we can do as Jesus tells us to do. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.